This program brought to you by Purina, your pet, our passion. And Petcentric, play like a pet. Pets brighten our days and make us feel very special. With so many dogs, cats, and other animals that need good homes, Purina urges you to visit your local shelter and discover your new best friend. Purina, your pet, our passion. Hi, and welcome to Dogs Talk Show, brought to you by Purina, your pet, our passion. And we are here with the fabulous Frank Marino. The how are you fabulous doing? Frank Marino. I'm, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Now, you are the longest running headliner on the strip. Is that correct? I am the longest running, not the oldest headliner, <laughs> just the longest running headliner. Okay, and one of the reasons why we're here is to talk about dogs. And uh, what was your first dog? Tell me about... My first dog, uh, when, as, as, a, as a little boy, believe it or not, <laughs> was Maxine. It was a little girl schnauzer. Okay. Maxine, I loved her. We had her for like 18 years, so like my wow. whole life. And, and how many pets have you had throughout your life? Um, when I was on my own, I bought another schnauzer, named her Maxine as well, Maxine too. And I had a little boy dog, Fluffy. Uh, and I could do that because I'm a drag. Uh, mm -hmm. And now I have my, f my present dog, Cherie, who's like my child. Now I just spoil her to death and it's like, she's my life now. Well, I've heard she gets an air conditioned doghouse. She, you know what happened was after I lost Fluffy and Max, I didn't want to get another dog because the heartbreak was so bad that I actually had a doggy psychic come to the house and tell me, I'll do anything for a story, and tell me that uh, the aura in the house was that I should have a new dog. So the next day we were filming one of those Make Your House Over TV shows and they came in and they said, your house is so overdone, what can we do? And they said, how about we do you an exotic dog run? And they did an exotic dog run. They gave me the two-story dog house. They gave me Cherie. They gave me this beautiful doggy door. They gave me all this st amazing stuff. She has a $10,000 dog bed that was donated. Wow. She sleeps and lives better than I do. Versace dishes for the dog. A Louis Vuitton carrying case. So um, she's very spoiled. Yes, she's very spoiled. Um, not only by me, but by all these product sponsors that actually gave her all these things. Well, fantastic. And, and I I understand you have a, a nice dress for her. Yeah, and then I took it to one more level since we do the diva show in Las Vegas and it's all about impersonations. Um, I had this little dog dress made, but it's actually, if you want to hold that, oh, sure. it's not quite your size, but we could always have one done. It actually matches one of the dresses that I wear in the show. And this is, a, if you know designers like from Cher, this is a Bob Mackie gown. Oh, fantastic. So Bob Mackie makes my gown and then we had it duplicated for her. And in my show we changed 17 times and She's got more clothes than I do, but she gets to have copies. Well, does she get to change throughout the day? Um, I don't do craziness <laughs> like that. I'm crazy enough, but not that crazy. But she loves the clothes. Like a lot of people say, you shouldn't dress the dog. They don't like it. They don't like it. I have a closet for her. Uh -huh. So when I open the closet, she comes running over. She gets excited and she loves, and she knows it's hers. God forbid I take it to wash it or something. Uh -huh. She like growls because she thinks I'm taking her stuff. Uh, now, do you ever get to bring her to work with you? Do you I'm afraid. Okay. I spoil her so much as like an overprotective parent. Um, I don't want her, you know, to get exposed to something she's not used to. Okay. So, and, and it's funny, I can leave my doors wide open, she won't walk outside the door. She just knows, don't do that. Uh -huh. And uh, But I do, for safety reasons, I'll carry her to the mailbox or to the corner. So in case she ever got out, she would know how to get back. When you get home, what kind of greeting do you get? Oh, it's her? fabulous. She's crate trained. Okay. So when we get home, my assistant will open the crate and she comes running right over to me. So it's the best feeling, it's unconditional love. So if you're having a, a horrific day that just, you know, makes you feel great at the end of the night and you forget everything bad that ever happened. Fantastic, well thank you for your time and we really appreciate hearing about the dogs and, and we're here to save pets in Las Vegas, especially with all the foreclosed homes. Absolutely. Really trying to get those I heard about home. all that going on and don't yeah. forget that's Purina Red. Purina Red, yes. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us for today's edition of Purina's Dogs Talk Show with Frank Marino on the Strip. Divas Las Vegas. Fantastic, and we'll see you next time.